you could call them a timeless classic with a lot to say. Simple, elegant, and just plain cool. For decades, split flap boards have been turning heads at airports and train halls, conveying info for travelers through a treat for the eyes and ears. And while most displays have gone digital, like the beloved display at Philadelphia's 30th Street Station, just a quick drive nearby, Oat Foundry is not only hand building them, they're bringing retro back. Hey, welcome to Oat Foundry. Let's do a little tour. All right, I'm excited, which I quickly learned is no picnic. That's the correct way to do it incorrectly. Yeah. The correct way to do it incorrectly. Yeah, so the company back. successfully turning the clock back on split flap. So far, installing more than 300 boards in offices, bars, and restaurants in 30 states and in 23 countries and counting. Google, Carnival Cruises, and Starbucks among some of the big names going analog. In New York City, more than 650,000 daily travelers are greeted by the flutter of flaps delaying transit data at the Irish Exit Bar in Moynihan Train Hall. And so why split flap? There's something nostalgic about it. It's a timeless design. And so we started making them and really just falling in love with it. It's definitely a romantic product to build. Mark Kuhn is CEO and one of the co-founders of the now multi-million dollar company started in 2013 with a mission to build cool stuff. Challenged by their restaurant client Honeygrow to create a new way to call orders, the team realized they could flip the script on digital advertising. You bank on split flaps, and it's paid off in pretty big dividends, it sounds like. We knew that there was something special about this, and then we're able to grow not just business operations, but our team here with the necessary roles for that. Behind every click, 50 characters per carousel moving in tandem create every clack. There's definitely a, a ballet that happens. I mean, you, you're talking about tens of thousands of moving pieces. Fast Company writer Nate Berg, covering design, agrees Oat Foundry's mix of innovation and tradition is part of a spiked interest in the antique. We've seen this push towards novelty items like typewriters, vinyl, and now split flap. Is there a growing market for more analog? I think there is. I mean, it's going to be a niche, but this kind of sign I think is going to be really useful in a, a cafe setting, a restaurant, a bar. It's mostly just to differentiate themselves, like to have something that mm, customers maybe don't expect or don't get to see wherever they go. The team moving beyond letters, numbers, and characters with full color images. Picture flap came out of split flap. Each design made to order for however big or small a client is willing to pay. They're built to last. We have a sign in our shop that's been running for 39 million rotations, which for the average user is like 300 years of use. So there's longevity here. Yeah, you're buying quality. Longevity, Oat Foundry appreciates for those who are willing to stop and listen. Do you think we're in an era or revisiting a time where we're going to see more analog technology come back? I hope so. I think that there's a future where the technology that we see, the analog technology we see, can have all that, that magic, but it doesn't have to just be a black obelisk glass screen in your pocket. It doesn't have to just be the digital glow of screens in an airport or train station. It can be this warmer sort of handshake between where we are now and where we're going. Really cool. Yeah, our, thanks to our friends at Oat Foundry for actually making a similar display right here for us, branded with today on it. And they I even etched it. it with the logo here. So thanks to them. Wow. You guys want to check it out and yeah. play with it? I mean, there is, I love, he was so poetic with his words, but to to think of it as a handshake, it's warm, it's comforting. Yeah. I love it's, it. familiar. it's familiar, it's familiar. And we all remember them. Yeah, you, know, you go into oh, a train yeah. station, the airport, oh, whatever. Yeah. It, oh, that's so it's cool. It's visual, really and as cool. you said, or, so, an oral thing. Price tag on that one's free, but if you want one of these for your business, <laughs> they run about, really they start cool. at about $50,000. Wow. Mm. So they're definitely for, you know, some businesses. And the company is actually hoping to bring back the split flat board, 230th right, yeah. Street Station. So anyone that traveled wow. there remembers it. They say like, hey, as soon as we get the call, we're ready to build one. Of course, they took it out because it's getting harder to find parts for the old ones. Oh, uh, this. Well, this is and not last more forever. reliable. For, and yeah, you could just easy. plug it in with an app or what you want it to say, and then it just does it? An yeah, app. exactly. That's exactly. That torture sign yeah. that they showed us, really cool. The only second time they ever stopped it was for us to actually film it. So wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, that plug really it in reason. so that it'll say what you want. That's what our producers want for us. That is <laughs> they try. Exactly. George. George, thank you. Thank you, George. Thanks, George. That was good. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.